So, we have our gantry set, our collimator is set in the proper position. Before we have kicked the table, we now see that there's an issue. Our match line and our diverging superior edge of the medial tangent do not match. So, what we need to do, we're, since we're at our medial tangent angle, we're going to kick the table, the feet of the patient, as you feet, away from your gantry. Thusly. Now, we've kicked our, about a five degree table kick is all it took in order to get back to our match line. So now we've got the penumbra on the superior edge of our tangent field matching the superclav, what's already been treated. So now that we're set up, we go ahead and deliver the treatment. Next, when we rotate back around to the lateral tangent, which I'm not going to do right now, you don't want the gantry in your way, <laughs> you're going to mirror your table. You've got the table. Actually, I'm going to show you what it would look like if you did not kick your table. It's going to be a little harder to see. We'll see if this actually shows up on screen. If it doesn't, then we haven't wasted much time and we can edit that out. may or may not be able to see. Let me take it since I'm taller than you are. When you don't kick your table, you end up with a situation where you are super overcorrected and you have even more of a cold or hot spot. Hopefully that shows up on the film. So kicking your table around, you want to go ahead and kick to five degrees. We move the table. You're now matching the same divergent line in the opposite direction. Obviously, I'm not at the correct gantry angle, but this is how you can actually see the flash to demonstrate exactly what it would look like. 